Welcome to Capital Insights. Thanks so much for being with us. We happen to be facing another earnings season. It happens every quarter in the wonderful uh, U.S., but we're facing another earnings season for corporations dead ahead. And this has been a quarter that's been marked by a lot of volatility. As you may know, we began this quarter with one of the deepest corrections that we'd ever seen at the beginning of any year, really in market history. But by the end of the first quarter, Stock prices had retraced all of their, their, their decline and had come right back up to where they started the year. Why this type of volatility? Well, at the very beginning of the year, what we had was a market that was being, if you will, disturbed and concerned with what was happening with real economic fundamentals globally. China, a big question mark as to what's happening with their economy, and it's very, very meaningful because China's the second largest economy on planet Earth. What happens in China? will reverberate throughout the global economy. Japan, the European banking system having a little bit of trouble. But, you know, after experiencing that correction down into the bottom of January, we had all the central bankers globally one more time come back out and tell us that they will support and do anything they can to, if you will, hold the markets up. In fact, the European Central Bank increased their money printing exercises. They're now printing more money than the Fed ever printed in any one month. $87 billion a month. They went into deeper negative interest rate territory. Japan lowered interest rates to negative interest rate territory for the first time in their entire history and promised to do even more. China's done a little bit of stimulus. And the Fed. At the end of last year, the Fed raised rates a quarter point for the first time in about seven years and promised that this year they would try to normalize rates a little bit more, potentially raising rates four times this year. Well, that's all ancient history at this point in time, because as of the end of the quarter, the Fed is telling us that they're on hold, they're being very cautious. So one more time, we have the central banks coming out, telling us they will do anything they possibly can to support the markets. So what we find ourselves with is a real tension right here. And I'd like to discuss that tension, especially in light of the fact that earnings season is coming down the pike very, very, very soon for US corporations. It just so happens that earnings estimates at the end of the first quarter are 10% lower than where we began the quarter. In fact, it's the largest drop in estimated earnings in any one quarter since the very beginning of 2009. One thing that we really need to remember, and that's very important in the markets, is that over the short term, the markets are driven by emotion. They're driven by sentiment. Can central bank commentary make the markets move up and down short term? You better believe they can. But long term, the markets are driven by and supported by real earnings. And that's becoming a little bit of a concern. Because remember, we're in one of the longest economic cycles that we've lived in in the United States for a long, long time. And these cycles just don't last forever. So to kick this off, I'd like to start with a chart. The chart you're looking at right now is 20 years of history of S&P 500 gap earnings. Gap meaning generally accepted accounting principles. And what you're seeing in this chart is that earnings for the S&P 500 really peaked back in 2015, and they've been declining ever since. That's the tension. We've got fundamental earnings that are starting to weaken up, yet we've got central banks promising to do anything to hold markets up. Remember, short term, the central banks can move these markets, emotion can move these markets, but longer term, it's the earnings that are really, really important. A couple of just quick anecdotes regarding earnings, and no one really knows. You know, what's to lie ahead? We'll have to see. Chris Lowe at uh, one of the major brokerage firms in the United States came out about a week or two ago and did a study. What he looked at was corporate earnings in the United States and how they have fallen in cycles over time. Well, what Chris told us was that any Earnings, if you will, stream that's fallen for five quarters in a row usually doesn't come back to peak earnings until you complete an entire economic cycle, meaning you move down into recession and you start earnings growth one more time. Will that happen? Won't that happen? Again, it remains to be seen. But history is not on the side of seeing new all-time highs in corporate earnings anytime soon. The BCA has been a long respected research source on Wall Street. It's the old bank credit analyst. They used to, you know, if you will, analyze the banking industry, but not any longer. 
you know, 20, 30 years ago, they branched out into global economics, etc. What's important is that in the first quarter, they took a look at their 60 industry groups in the United States. 32 of those groups were actually cutting prices. Another nine in that group couldn't even raise prices 1%. So what do we have? Well, out of 60 industries in the United States, the BCA found that two thirds are actually experiencing deflation, down earnings, the inability to increase earnings more than the rate of inflation. There is pressure on earnings. And if there's pressure on earnings, there's pressure on cash flow. And cash flow is what's really supported stock buybacks. It's supported dividends, et cetera. So we're at a little bit of a precarious point right here. And first quarter earnings in the United States will be very, very important. And again, it's going to be easy for some of these companies to beat earnings because they've been lowered so much already. But what will be one of the most important things to watch is not what the earnings were for the prior quarter. It's going to be what management says about their forward outlooks. Be on the lookout. Be, if you will, watchful of what is being said. Because again, short term, the markets are moved by emotion. The markets are moved by sound bites. The markets are moved by daily news items. But longer term and longer term trends are really driven by earnings. Keep your eyes open. Earnings season lies dead ahead. We'll be watching. We hope you will too. We very much appreciate you being with us today. On behalf of the entire team at Capital Planning Advisors, thanks so much for your time. I'm Brian Pretty.